And if by, let's say, May, the French have not declared war on us, we will just declare war on them using the console. Okay, Hungary's canceled on aggression pact. The French demand Alsace. We received a list of demands today from the French government that state their intention of liberating Alsace with force if necessary. This is a blatant declaration of war in disguise. We must, uh, we must know prepare ourselves. Conflict for the French regime. Look, France, you are heavily outnumbered on the border, okay? You don't even have defenses. And look at this shit. There we go. Deploy living barbed wire. I'm sure that won't have any. Division speed minus 25%. Construction speed minus 15%. Hello, Coco. Well, I've got a feeling that France is in for a very, 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 very bad time. The second, oh, second great war. It, oh, I know this song. This Isn't this from Bioshock Infinite? This is absolutely taken from... Yeah, this is from Bioshock Infinite. Okay. Good. Hell is let loose. You've called in. Uh, what the fucking alien sounds. Oh my god, this is incredible. Quest call the arms. Can you join my faction? Holy shit, I love it so much. But we'll skip. We'll skip the rest of that. Can I not get? The Dutch should join my faction. I feel like I would like the French to join my faction. They do got a lot of... Okay, we have air superiority. It's getting better and better by the day. Russia's not involved quite yet. But I've been told they should be joining soon. Same with the British. I actually... I can't do any of this shit. Game of Dutchland has called in their uh, colonial holdings. Fair enough, fair enough. Military factories. What are we going to need? We have 13,000 weird dogs. We have 100,000 guns. We have 90,000 rations. We actually need 400 a day. Okay, that's actually quite a bit. Okay, put more on that then. French forces have crossed the border. It has begun. We have received some reports that French troops have crossed the border checkpoints and are starting fighting local forces. This is a declaration of war. Furthermore, border guards in the East tell that several Russian troop movements towards our border have been spotted. It's likely assumed that Russia will truly join France as an ally in this war. Mobilize the army. Our actually our manpower. Okay, we do need to upgrade that. Oh, no, that's the wrong army. Delete this plan. You guys need to be marching like this. I'm, I don't know if Prussia can join this war against us. By the way, how many planes do we have here? Oh, we, we, we outnumber them. Excellent. We, do you have close air support? I actually don't know. I mean, more people are joining, you know, the Ottoman Empire. They got a lot of colonies. China. I mean... Do you want Mongolia? Do you want this area back? I mean, if you did, the Imperial Powers. The France now declaring our threatening stability of Europe forever and our nation's mere existence under threat. Uh, the question of whether we should join Britain and stop in a Franco-Russian alliance is no longer a question of if, but when. For survival of Germany, we must reach out to our old allies in London and begin a grand crusade against the Pac Refranche. We're now in the Imperial Powers. Can I overtake this faction? No. Unfortunately not. Oh, by the way, the entirety of the border down here with Italy is, uh, unguarded. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I lied, by the way. Okay, people are joining. Who else are... Is there any war, like, anywhere else? I mean, not really. Well, Beck might end up doing something. I don't know, though. 
Germany joins Britain. Diplomats from Germany and Britain have announced via a joint conference that a full-scale alliance between the nations have been signed. Oh, so actually, I'm going to... Okay, Prussia did declare war. So it's a good thing I got those units where they were. Beta normal. I honestly don't think Prussia has much that can actually stop us. Britain, you want to join these wars? Actually, are you in an alliance? You're in Pac Revanche. Russia is not in an alliance? I don't know. Will they fully sign the Pac Revanche? I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, the Japanese are sending us volunteers. Thank you, Japan. We, not, we might not see eye to eye on every issue. But when it comes to hating the French, me and you, we can be best buddies. Also, your line is like way small. Do something like this. Hey, Portugal's involved now. The Imperial Powers. That's opening up a basically completely exposed line here. You're not at war though. At least not yet. can also get ourselves a plan here. If we can take over Codensburg as quickly as possible, that'd be nice. And how are supplies? We need to get our railroads up and running. And my submarines probably should have a military commander. And you're just going to convoy raid in the Baltic. Don't let the Russians have anything nice, because we don't like the Russians, okay? Are you in our faction? No, you're just at war with them. Okay, let's get 50% less oil, or less oil consumption. I mean, that just seems really good. Oh yeah, we also have, I, for, I completely forgot we actually have all these. Use one on Poland, use one on the French. It'd be nice if Portugal joined the war, distract a couple of troops down to the south. We actually don't have air superiority. Russia joined the Pac Revanche! Okay, that seems reasonable. I mean, I really wish that, um, the League of Nations. Well, the world wants more caught up in a great war. Britain has proposed the creation of a League of Nations to direct the war effort. This group. Better principally by Britain and Germany would function as a means to prevent wars in the future, resolve international crises or without conflict. Okay. The London Committee proposal. It is th in these black hours that we must stand united and ready. Spoke by British Minister of Foreign Affairs trying to appeal to our nation today. Already the situation in Europe is quite desperate. France and Russia are already making quite maneuvers in German soil. Are already making quite the maneuvers on German soil. Quite the maneuvers on German soil. And if they had a way to Berlin, if they had a way, then Berlin would should, uh, Britain would surely be next. Britain seems both desperate and sincere about the threat for the uh, uh, Franco Russian alliance. Okay. More political. We're now a founding council member of the uh, United Nations, basically. Thank you, United Commonwealth. I guess we have the Americans on side, too. Look at all the fucking Americans coming over here now. Poland is about to collapse. They actually collapsed at 50%. Surprisingly. We need to take Krakow. We take Krakow, Poland collapses. How are railroads looking? You are one day away. Okay, Japan, thank you for the volunteers. Okay, Poland is dead. Which actually has just gotten a bunch of Russian divisions encircled. Very happy to see that. Do something like this. Hungary, I think, is going to stay out of the war forever. I'm happy with that. I'm assuming that Russia and France, yeah, they're the main members. They collapse at 25. You collapse at 10? Are you fucking kidding me? Also, none of my puppet states are in the war. Just realize that now. Right, 
Again, it would be nice if, like, again, if China could just open up, like, another front over here. Like, it would be nice. Right? Also, I guess we can now break Russian ciphers. The London Proclamation! After a series of lengthy meetings in London, delegates from major warring democratic powers have signed a diplomatic charter to establish the League of Nations. Excellent. There's one thing that Britain loves. They don't have a tree yet. It's very sad. But there's one thing that Britain loves. It's, it's being part of massive international organizations. Combine arms. You know what? Give me Panzer Expert. Follow you by excavation two. Crush these units. Crush these units, please. And then your next plan is just, hey, let's just like march into Russia. You know what I mean? Like, let's just like take them over. That could be fun. And are you in the war yet? Still no. What about you, by the way? The Free Finnish Army? They're, they're not doing literally anything, unfortunately. Okay, take Cohensburg. That should be the end of the Prussians. Doesn't <laughs> Brexit say otherwise? Well, I mean, okay. But they did, you've got, you found one example. I bet you it is impossible for you to find a second. Um, what do I want? We actually have a lot of light tanks. Is there anything we're actually missing? Uh, naval bombers. And actually close, you know what, we can build some more close, close air support. And, I mean, we have a lot of guns. There we go, just build me more infantry. Oh, there's one French unit on German soil. Can I military access through you? Thank you, Dutchland. Let's kill this one unit. I mean, he does exist, right? Because if I'm not mistaken, I mean, the leader of Corsica was Napoleon VI. So I'm assuming that Napoleon still existed in this timeline. Also, France is basically already dead. You'd love to see it. I don't know if anybody else... Hey, Portugal's joined the war. It's about time. Okay, here comes the Portuguese. All the... Look how many American troops. Paris has fallen, by the way. So, we have 586 divisions against up to a maximum of 309. It's actually kind of sad. Also, I've done 90% of the war effort here, so, you know, I'm just saying. By the way, if you're not attacking, you should be attacking. I want you to spring out from here. Like that, there we go. Who leads Portugal? Portugal currently is led by Sister Lucia uh, Fatima. But there's also the Portuguese Kingdom in Exile just hanging out down here in Angola. The victory is auto-scripted? Okay. Good to know. We can serve our oil. Uh, I don't even know what to fucking build. Build, build whatever, man. That's, it, we, we've won at this point. You have less casualties in micro. How many men have we lost so far? I mean, that's actually not, that's not that bad. It's mostly against the French. But the France the French France is dead already, basically. Battlefield supports. I don't even know the research at this point. Um we'll get you going. I mean they're all they're they're not living. How close is France capitulation? They're at 51%. Move your way up to Brittany. 
Oh, we've broken the cipher for you guys. Okay. Reveal the intel then. How about a VP? Yeah, we can, we can definitely victory point Russia and France. Yeah, then all of you are basically marching your way to the Manchester uh, Conference. 150 political power? Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I don't... There's no description for that event, but I'm sure we don't need it. Who needs, who needs to know things? I don't know. We'll just, we'll just take whatever we can here. Armor research speed? Sure, why not? Len is now encircled and now captured. They're ba they're basically already dead. And then and after that, we can just move all these units over to the Russian front. And if we can, what are you building? Supply hubs? I mean, these supply hubs are useless at this point. I know they're almost basically done. I'd rather build railroads and upgrade uh, upgrade railroads now. We have no supplies up here, but that's okay. You don't need supplies to fight a war. You just need to have a fighting spirit. Okay, send our weird monsters to go kill the French here. The weird dogs seem pretty fast. 6.4 kilometers? That's pretty good. I think like one more major French city. We've got this. Napoleon thought the same. Look. Napoleon, if Napoleon was German, maybe he could have done it. Okay. By the way, wait, what, what day did this war begin? They declared war on... They declared war on the 19th of February. It's been like three months. Shame he wasn't Italian. I think Brest will be enough for us to kill France. I mean, Russia already doesn't have enough troops to actually cover their entire borders. How many troops does Russia have? 71 to 88. Okay, basically zero. There's Quadra Pod 2 finished. I'll upgrade, yeah, why not? Wait, was that actually not enough to kill France? No, barely not. You take one of these two cities, though, France will be dead. The German Federation and their allies to defeat the national state of France. Your dreams are gone. The people silence their minds. It now occupied France. Apparently, Wallonia does not... Are you still at war with you? Yes. Apparently, um... Wallonia doesn't come, to get, doesn't come back into existence. Send these units down south. We're going to send you here. Something like this. And you're just going to march your way down to... What do they call it? What do they call it? Tarzan? Fair enough. I did he finished War 439. The, the main obstacle is just that Russia is very big. You can butcher France later? Hell yeah. Like, if Russia was just smaller... Are you in the war? You not accept. Dangerous border. I mean, maybe once we're actually at the border with you, you will, uh... You'll calm down a little bit. Didn't Turkey join the war? Yeah, the Ottomans are in the war as well, but they don't—they don't matter. As far as I know, they're not a major power. They okay, were almost in Minsk. Hey, I didn't even get a. Okay, they—they they got broken up. Can I join? Can you join the war? Oh, you're already in the war. Okay, excellent. Am I joining the joining on Tan side? 
Well, I, they're they're a puppet of the Russians. Okay, so we got the Kingdom of Occitania in the south. We've got occupied France. We've got Wallonia back, and we have Brittany once again existing. We're now in the member of the League of Nations. You love to see it. I don't think France is going to live too long. And they're not even a major power. We don't actually even need to kill them. Polonia Nova Russo. Oh, that, that, that's uh, Alaska. They rebelled? Okay. I'm, I'm surprised that like nobody tried to even colonize this land. You guys arrived yet? Yes, you have. And again, everybody should be on very aggressive. There is no, there, there's no room for cowards in my army. Yeah, sure, why not? Bust some fortresses. There's decision to use Burgundy as well. Right. I mean, they literally lost the war in like five days. Also, yeah, the Spanish have not defended this side of their border at all. So Spain, congratulations, you are very much deceased. I literally don't even, I guess we have to send you all to Russia then. But like, what else are you gonna do? Get some more weapons. Spain, still not technically dead. Mech Italy? No, you can keep your 17 divisions. I appreciate the offer. But it's not really what we're here for. No, don't. Who do we get out for this? Victory in Europe. Oh, the Arabian War at the very beginning of the game has finally uh, ended. My game crash was it was Arabia. Okay, there we go. Never forget. Never forgive. That's just an opinion decrease. Like, why would I do that? Yeah, no, fin Finland is still kicking. I don't know how the hell they're still alive. I mean, they're not at war with the rest of Russia, so I guess that's what's going on there. At least that's what makes the most amount of sense to me. Okay, more Russian troops are just being absolutely fucking slaughtered. That last focus tree is OP. So, so what we need is that we need to become more powerful. How, wait, how is Spain not dead, by the way? The class is, okay, they should be dead in a second. Okay, so they're now the provisional Spanish kingdom, led by Franco. Draw you here, attack, go for it as soon as you arrive. Let's send you here, and you're gonna go your way into um, Finland. Hey, we broke Russian ciphers again. Let's just reveal intelligence against them, please and thank you. So how much of the war have I done? 88%. So I've done, I've done everything for the war effort, and. I'm not going to single say in anything, unfortunately. Okay, let's send you to Moscow. Oh, I never turned off Fog of War. Right, there we go. Okay, send in our monstrosities, please. To kill the Baltic Duchy. Oh yeah, wait, 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 I have to use my... 
What's even the point of warfare if we're not using... Okay, I can't use my... Uh... What do, I, what do I need to do to use my living barbed wire? I don't really know. Okay. Well. We could get even better dogs? Hell yeah. What the hell? That? Oh no. Look at this thing. Anyways. Uh, let's get you. Then again, at this point, it doesn't really matter. Okay, go to St. Petersburg, go to Helsinki. Doctrine's available. Take formation flying. And how how is the League of Nations? I mean, it's looking pretty good. I mean, the war's been going on for like a handful of months. I think overall, it's, it's going pretty well, I would say. How many other major cities you got one two the Urals don't count in this timeline okay happy to see that most feared women in Europe I they're, they're like they're like super soldiers I'd be scared too you'd be a fool not to be scared